All right, Boomerites, looks like I need your help again. This is, uh, I was looking for, uh, this has been so requested by you guys, uh, Frankie Boyle on Mock the Week. There's like, I believe, compilations of him um, saying some pretty um, outlandish things. But um, I need you guys' help to actually, like, word out what the video is. I know there's a... Sp I know there's a specific video that you guys want me to watch. I just can't find it because there's so many compilations of Frankie Boyle on Mock the Week. It's tough to uh, filter out. But in the meantime, I'm going to do a short video of Mock the Week with Frankie Boyle. This one's called The Racist Door. Uh, <laughs> I, d I don't even know what this is about, but it's already making me laugh just from that title. But yeah, there, I'm, I really need help with this. I need you guys to put in the comments what the uh, particular compilation is that you guys wanted me to watch, uh, word for word. Because it's, uh, there's so, like I typed it in the search field, so many compilations came up that I didn't know where to start. So, and you guys always are the best at giving the absolute best suggestions. And I know there's a specific one that you want, guys want me to start with. So please help me out. But anyway, this is <laughs> this is Mock the Week, the racist door with Frankie Boyle. Good God, what is this going to be? With a round call headliners, here's a picture of Libyan leader Colonel Gaddafi in uh, casual <laughs> mode recently. But what does LCGA stand for? First of all, is he Lionel Richie's melting wax one? <laughs> <laughs> is it little cap giant afro? <laughs> Is it love confuses Gaddafi's yeah. assassin? <laughs> I would kill him, but look at that little smile. How could you? Is it is it a least convincing goatee award? <laughs> is it? Yeah. Lovely cap, General Armani. <laughs> is it uh, is it Leicester City's goalie arrives? It really was an unusual transfer window when they picked up Colonel Gaddafi. Is and... it the uh, four things you're not allowed at the uh, party? Is it ladies, cocaine, Glaswegians, and alcohol? <laughs> is it... Um, I'm very <laughs> racist. Yeah. Yeah, you're not that. allowed at the uh, party. Is it ladies, cocaine, Glaswegians, and alcohol? <laughs> is it... Um, I'm is very it... racist. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for opening the racist door for me. <laughs> That guy we got. Sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Children, shall we open the racist door? <laughs> Who's behind? Oh, it's Ching Chong Chinaman. <laughs> oh my God, he looks way too excited to open this door. He's like, oh man. For the risk of being satirical, is it just Lockerbie cover up? Gordon agrees. <laughs> Is it what George Bush used to call him? Little crazy goddamn Arab. <laughs> I know Who will be appearing actually. behind the racist Got door it. in the next yeah. edition of, yeah. of Frankie's Funhouse uh, on CBB? That's Did a you, different uh, show altogether. <laughs> Late night show, if you look at it, if you look at it really closely, the answer is Leonard Cohen's great aunt. <laughs> I'm, I'm genuinely going to have to go to the correct answer. Libyan <laughs> Colonel... Oh no, Libyan celebrate Gaddafi's anniversary. It is, of course, well done. Yeah. Well, he's dead now. He's dead now. He had a knife jammed right up his ass. <clears throat> I'm sure some of you guys have seen that video when he got captured. That was... that was wild. Yes, the answer I was looking for was Libya celebrates Gaddafi anniversary. The colonel seized power of the military coup 40 years ago this week. How time flies. And the country marked the occasion with six days of extravagant and compulsory celebration. <laughs> How was it? Did you enjoy it? It was absolutely fantastic. I had a while of a time. <laughs> the dip star was absolutely all right. I'd imagine it's the top quality hummus all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It was fantastic. They compared it, didn't they? He said that it would be a celebration on the same lines or, or even better than Beijing. 
2008, didn't he? And the reason he said that was because apparently, as well as fireworks and stuff, they've got the world's biggest tent. Yeah. That was a major, which isn't even true. The biggest tent in the world is the one Vanessa Phelps uses when she goes to Glastonbury. <laughs> 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 I don't know who that is, and um, I don't know what that event he was talking about was, but <laughs> the, the, the crowd reaction, <laughs> like, oh no, that was pretty funny. Fucking <laughs> you. It's the world's biggest tent, though. It would have taken an absolute arse ache to put it up, wouldn't it? You think they just spent ages... I mean, you're putting your tents up wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the Italian red arrows at it. To me, all the red arrows are just cowards, aren't they? Highly skilled pilots who, while we're at war, choose to perform at country air shows. <laughs> Have you seen any action recently? Yes, Farnborough. I killed a family having a picnic. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. During the actual ceremony, the ceremony That's true. Of, there were dancers, and then there was like a big eye for no properly explained reason, and people would walk <laughs> into the big it's eye. Weird. As they're going into the party, you should see where they're coming out. It's really gross. <laughs> <laughs> and then as well as that, there was this weird kind of motif, which was mm. the commemorative the hanging of Libyan patriots by the <laughs> Italians. Right? Do you know what you can't see just out of that shot? The relatives of those people are desperately trying to guess the letters of a huge word. <laughs> The miniature of that is an executive toy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like Libya forgot about Gaddafi's 40th anniversary and had to pick up a stage show on the way home. <laughs> Quick, go to the garage. We need a massive international stage show. <laughs> I've got an eye. What does that represent? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, looking at things for 40 years. Good work, good work. Good <laughs> yeah. work, because this obviously is what Gaddafi looks like these days. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. it's quite rock and roll. Yeah. In fact, it's, it's exceptionally rock and roll, you see, who he most resembles in the world, which is Tom Jones. Uh, and I'm just like, you couldn't just pick, you pick any photograph of Gaddafi, look, in a hat, but not this. Oh my God, it's Tom Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Who attended, by the way? Well, no one, really. There, there was one world leader who came, didn't he, in the morning. That was Berlusconi. Berlusconi accepted the invitation when he heard that Jordan was going. Um, although he left early when he found out it was the country. Because <laughs> 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 it's always going to be a different party once Berlusconi goes, mm. you know, like, oh, cancel the cat-headed woman, send someone out to buy Boggle and Scatigans. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they had one Western leader. Uh, at it, and that was because like Mugabe and various people arrived, but they also had, excitingly, the present George Abella of Malta and his wife, Mark. <laughs> uh, which just sounds like the most, like they drove there with a caravan. Uh, <laughs> 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 Tami <laughs> coming over. Oh, some way through. Oh, hot in it, hot. Oh, it's hot. Oh, these sheep's eyes don't, don't, don't agree with me. Uh, <laughs> Weren't they, that Al McGraw was actually going to show up? And it's a six day festival, and Gaddafi is a maverick. There were loads of pictures of Al McGraw, weren't there? there? Were. And you're thinking at some stage, not only will there be all the Scottish flags flying again, but you quite expect Gaddafi to wear a Celtic scarf, have a little kilt, be eating <laughs> porridge oats, watching somebody toss the cable, go, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Can you excuse me while I just lock the racist door? <laughs> It's good to see, it's good to see McGrathy's taking the Scottish lifestyle back with him though. He's living in a tent and taking morphine every day. <laughs> I think, you know, people say it's gone bad diplomatically, but it's gone not that bad considering it's Scottish people trying to do diplomacy. It's gone quite well. The average Scottish person's idea of diplomacy is going, you're a <laughs> But it's okay, I like <laughs> There's a strange thing, isn't there, with Al McGrahy, where there's this defence of compassion, like you're not allowed to commit a crime providing that there's something wrong with you. Sorry I pissed in your coffee, I've got asthma. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Um, question, is Scottish diplomacy really like that? Because that's hilarious. Um, you Scots are crazy. We're all crazy, though. You know, we all have got our little uh, quirks we got. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, I like how he shut the racist door at the end. <laughs> it's like no one's allowed in here now. Uh, it's also interesting that they, uh, I mean, this is from obviously like over 10 years ago. Maybe even during, maybe even 15 years ago. But the, uh, <clears throat> I find it interesting that there's, uh, this isn't the first time I've seen uh, a panel full of comedians um, talking about uh, political issues, maybe not domestic, but overseas, um, foreign um, political issues. I imagine they stay off of uh, UK politics just so they don't um, piss anyone off too much in your in your homeland. I don't know, but it's interesting to me. Um, but I think this is only the second time I've done. Mock the week. This looks like an older one, though. But uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm looking for that one Frankie Boyle Mock the Week compilation that you guys suggested. Um, so get at me about that in the comments. Also, if there are other Mock the Week segments that you want me to react to that uh, uh, are on your mind, put them in the comments as well. In the meantime, like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. I am King Boomer. And you guys have a lovely day. Peace out.